Dying of a broken heart was just a figure of speech until 2002, when Dr. Hikaru Sato and colleagues at Hiroshima City Hospital described it in a study. Sato named the condition Takotsubo cardiomyopathy. It was quickly dubbed broken heart syndrome. More recently, scientists have discovered that you can also die of an excess of happiness. And it is the same condition, Takotsubo cardiomyopathy. Naturally, it's being called happy heart syndrome. So what is Takotsubo cardiomyopathy, or Takotsubo syndrome, as it is also known? And why do some people die of it? Takotsubo cardiomyopathy is rarely fatal, explains Dr. Adam Taylor, professor at Lancaster University, in an article for The Conversation. Most people recover within a few months without long-term heart damage, as with other heart muscle diseases. It is so named because people with the condition have an abnormally shaped left ventricle, the main pumping chamber in the heart. Sato thought the shape, narrow at the top and ballooning at the bottom, resembled the ceramic pots used to trap octopuses, takotsubo in Japanese. This ballooning weakens the heart muscle, affecting its ability to pump blood effectively. Until recently, this broken heart syndrome was associated with significant emotional or physical stress. The exact mechanism by which the stress causes the change in the heart's shape and the subsequent symptoms, chest pain and shortness of breath, is still not fully understood. Doctors have noted similar harmful changes to the heart in people with conditions such as a rare tumor on the adrenal glands and central nervous system disorders. In these conditions, there is an excess of catecholamines, hormones made by the adrenal glands. This hints at the possible role of these hormones in Takotsubo cardiomyopathy. In stressful situations, these catecholamines increase, affecting the body, particularly the heart. This effect in stressful situations is not a surprise. Stressful events that trigger Takotsubo syndrome include receiving bad news, losing a loved one, domestic violence, car accidents, and even public speaking. Most recently, however, a team of researchers in Germany showed that Takotsubo syndrome could also be triggered by happy events, such as a wedding, the birth of grandchildren, and winning the jackpot. The researchers, led by Dr. Ingo Eitel and Dr. Thomas Stiermeyer from the University Heart Center Lübeck, studied 910 patients who had an emotional trigger for Takotsubo syndrome. 37 patients had happy heart syndrome and 873 had broken heart syndrome. Unlike broken heart syndrome, which mainly affects women, happy heart syndrome was mostly observed in men. The researchers found that deaths and complications from happy heart and broken heart syndrome are about the same, that is to say, rare. So don't worry about getting emotional about life's big events. They're very unlikely to kill you. But if you do feel pain or pressure in your chest, always seek medical help. Thank you for watching. And please don't forget to subscribe.